Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I got your latest tropical update, and I was hoping to bring some good news. Unfortunately, it is not so good news. Everything is looking a little bit stronger and a little bit worse. Uh, plus, we have a new area of disturbance. We have a little area right here in the Gulf of Mexico because of all this tropical moisture. The upper level low is going over waters, and it's going all the way down towards the lower, lower levels, and it's starting to build a close to a tropical depression now what this is going to do is keep these storms brewing where you're just going to have them all the way through labor day just training storms and bringing all that heavy rainfall as well plus what's still in our tropics not only what's going on in the gulf right now we still have this disturbance that's moving further to the west and showing this is going to strengthen up matter of fact the euro is showing a cat for potential major hurricane that's going around that high pressure as soon as it strengthens up and come right into the gulf of mexico even rip right up the east coast as well so i'm gonna show you all the latest information in this video if you've never been here before make sure you subscribe i am all year long we actually about have about five almost six of these areas that I'm showing that we're going to have all the way through September through the beginning of October potentially. And we've been expecting this coming for a couple of weeks. So make sure you stay up to date. Click that bell and select all so you get all the latest information. Help others, people. Please hit that like button or the share button down below. Wait to the end of the video when you see all the information for yourself and you will see it's very important. So we still have our disturbance is still at 40% in the next seven days. And that just means they don't have a lot of confidence that it's going to build up too fast within the next seven days. It literally will be around here right when it gets around six days and seven days move to the Western Caribbean. This is where it's going to strengthen up and turn. Now you see we also have this 20% in the Gulf of Mexico from this building a potential surface low pressure. And this just means more rainfall impacts. What the system is going to be don't even matter. Even if it's a tropical depression, it will be a name. It'll be Tropical Depression Francine if that happens. 20% in the next seven days, 10% in the next 48 hours. And you can see on the latest update that we have very warm waters, especially as it gets into the, by Jamaica, by center of the Caribbean and goes right into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, when you look with the latest anomaly with the Euro, you can see that curve happening after it goes seven days, then it's gonna start going on that curve around it will either get pulled into the western side of gulf of mexico northern or more than likely get pulled around by florida that's what's been trending the most and you can see as you go all the way to five days and beyond it has more confidence that it will be on the western side of the caribbean as it goes past seven days and then it's going to start curving into the gulf of mexico by the high pressure and go right over to florida into the southeast potentially either going into this direction or this direction by the time we get right past 10 days so national hurricane center having 40 percent in the next seven days is about right because it's not going to start strengthening until it gets around that five to seven day mark anyhow now you can see with the ensembles showing right when you get around four or five days it's going to start traveling to the west in the caribbean trending it will be something weak sometime around labor day september 2nd for the leeward and windward islands something weak will be coming by bringing you some rainfall nothing has showed a lot of strength from, from the get-go you see there's one out of all these ensemble possibilities maybe something stronger as it goes by, you can see it also goes by Jamaica as you go by the 5th and the 6th. Showing a lot more confidence, it will be below you, which is a worse place to be because it can easily turn in anywhere as you're going to be on the eastern and northern side of this storm. It's been keeping it very close to y'all. And going around the 7th or the 8th, having two different paths. It's either going to go around Florida in this direction or it's going to go further into the Gulf of Mexico. This we're going to know by that trough as it comes by if that high pressure is going to swing that out early or if it's going to push it out and swing it out later and pushing both of them to the north no matter which direction it takes. The latest trends with the deterministic models, you can see with the icon, showing something weak, passing by the Leeward and Windward Islands, the Lesser Antilles, just bringing y'all some rainfall, and maybe strengthening up over by Hispaniola, maybe taking that northern track, which would be a better outcome for Jamaica as well, but it will be direct impact on the eastern side for Hispaniola for this also. Now you can see with GFS, 
as you go with GFS, it keeps it weak all the way to the Western Caribbean, all the way September 7th. So it's still way past seven days before anything will start strengthening up, has been the trend. Also, you can see it starts strengthening up and it gets steered by that high pressure, it grabs hold of that high pressure, and that trough pulls that to the north as a hurricane going towards Florida and staying on land, still strong after that all the way to the Carolinas. On the Euro, the control member of the ensemble, trending that for the leeward windward islands you're just going to get some rainfall from a tropical depression and form up potentially to a tropical storm after it passes y'all maybe weaken down or stay a tropical storm as it goes by jamaica showing on this run that it would be direct impacts right as you're going by september 5th on thursday and look how it gets pulled around strengthens all the way down to a cat four major hurricane that's down to a 939 right there and it keeps strengthening down to a 934 very powerful right there and going all the way across as a strong hurricane on florida same place and location almost as barrel and going right by the carolinas staying strong right up the coast and look here right by the carolinas and all the way up the coast and it could stay strong because of the temperatures and reaching into that water with the surface low staying in the water, just like you have in the Gulf right now. When it reaches down to the surface and that stays over water, it's going to start strengthening up and stay at least maintaining. And you can see this here. It's getting steered by the high pressure as it's traveling to the west in the Caribbean. Then the high pressure moves away and then the trough comes in and grabs that system right there. Right there, the trough has that system right at the western side of the Caribbean and starts pulling that to the north with that trough. Showing the rainfall could start adding up for the Lesser Antilles, but really heavy as it goes over potentially or near Jamaica. As it curves around, be worse impacts as it goes towards the southeast for Florida going by Georgia and the Carolinas. Potentially a lot of heavy rainfall if that scenario would have shown true. And not only bring a lot of strong winds all the way up the coast from Florida all the way towards Virginia and Maryland and Delaware. Also, what happens in Florida? Because this is bringing a lot of strong winds coming with this right here. This is your wind gust and also showing that we're going to have a cold front come through. So that front is going to be there with that trough showing that we're going to have our initial cold front that we're feeling now. It's going to stick around for a little bit. It's going to retract back on the temperatures then we got another one coming in from the fifth and the sixth and staying for a while that trough is what's going to be pulling this system to the north then as we go through october the colder air is going to retract back a little bit and, and october is going to be a little bit warmer than what we're going through now for fall you can see this with gfs also after an initial cold dip it's going to retract back but then the cold front's going to come in again a little bit bigger of a dip this could actually bring in some 40s as well but this trough is the reason why i'm showing you this this cold front is going to be what's pulling the system north so the cold front is coming it is trending with gfs and euro that it is coming and that would pull it to the north and you can see possibly a third dip before the october warm-up also agreeing by the gfs and still showing multiple systems still coming for september and still showing them right here you can see this is right into our gulf of mexico very strong anomaly still moving up from October 1st, late September. Remember this? We've been seeing it since down here. We're going to watch this walk up. But look at this. We've got one coming around the 10th. That's what we're looking at now. We've got another potential coming around the 13th and 14th. Another potential coming in the higher teens. And then we got late September and early October. So we got multiple systems that could potentially be forming up starting with this one. Now, before you go on through your night, Psalm 97, 1 through 7. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlighten the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole 
earth. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Amen. Have a great night, everybody. I wish there was more I could do for you. I hope this information does help you. I will see you in the morning, and we will do an afternoon update for you for tomorrow as well. Remember, all glory, it goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life, just like he does for me and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great night, everybody. Hopefully this changes in the morning.